हेलो हेलो हाय हाय लेट्स स्टार्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट डिस्कशन राइट नाउ सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लाइक व्हिच इज इंपॉर्टेंट राइट सो दिस आर द बेसिक थिंग्स व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड सो इन द इंटरव्यू इटसेल्फ दे दे माइट आस्क ओके सो एज अ कोर फंडामेंटल रीजन दिस हैव अ क्योंकि अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई आई डोंट नो लाइक दे हैव द इन द अपग्रेड हैव टेकन और नॉट ओके सो लेट्स शेयर माय एक्सपीरियंसेस टू यू सो दैट विल हेल्प राइट या सो शेयर द स्क्रीन कैन यू सी माय स्क्रीन यस आई कैन बट गेट स्टार्टेड विद द नोट पैड सो आई विल जस्ट explain you what is it this thing okay i will be not writing everything here right mm. identifier so this is this identifier can you have any understanding about this identifier anything mm. have you aware about the identifier have you heard uh, of yes yes i have heard like um, yeah i'm not remembering but Okay, it's fine, fine, fine. So, in the general sense, if I want to talk about identifiers, what you can say, like general sense. Ah, it is. It is something like uh, specifically you give name something or you give a unique unique identity or something like that. L like a uh, object which can give a unique identity to something. Oh, like that. Okay. Fine. Just give me a second. It is like something like identification process. Okay, like let's suppose I am naming something in the Python program, right? Let's suppose you are write a return the some code in the like let's suppose you have named something a dot py, right? You are giving the program the name something, right? Name you are giving name in the Python program you are giving the name something. Let's suppose uh, your program is related to the banking sector. Let's suppose you are writing account. Right, you are giving the name, right? I understand. So, name the Python program that may be the class name, function name, or variable. Okay, that comes under the identifier. Okay, whatever the name convention that you are giving, that comes under the identifier. Let's suppose uh, you you might have heard about it, right? Uh, several developers or data scientists will be going to talk about like, uh, let's say this is a class, right? the class name should be capital first letter should be capital so it should be a pseudo like this like let's say uh johnny name is like vibhav right so first letter should be capital have you heard about it any convention that you have crossed yes yes, yes yes yeah this is it should not start with symbols it first letter should be capital like that no yes yes exactly so class is a keyword Right, we will going to discuss that what is the keyword and all. This basic thing itself, they will be going to talk about it in the interview. Okay, they will be catching the basic thing itself. Okay, so while you are defining the identifier, do you know any kind of a rule? Rule. They will be not asking just for your information. I am asking. It shall not be start with any number. Or any symbol. Yeah. Then. Um. Not even with the space, and um, I shall not include the uh, those uh, generic keywords. Uh, no, shall not include those generic keywords. Like if we are using, like, like we shall not use some some as a uh, identifier name oh. since it is a. Default keyword. Yes, fine, fine. So first of all, we'll take it rules one by one. Okay, rule number okay. one: the only allowed character in Python. Okay, only allowed character. Allowed characters which is there, I will be going to talk about. It. Allowed characters are right. So one is alphabet character, either in the lower case or upper case. Characters are allowed. This is the meaning of that. Okay, character. Yes. Lower case. Or upper case, lower case, 
tell me like which are the valid identifiers just quick in the chat section i will be just writing this in the chat section itself so you can have a glance on that right Let's have a quick discussion. Yeah. First one is okay. Uh, it's not okay since it is starting with the digits. Second one is okay. Yeah. Third one is also okay. Fourth one is uh, not okay since it is wrong usage of this symbol. Mm -hmm. And uh, last two. Is, are also not okay because uh, we are using the keywords into that. Okay, fine. So I forgot to tell you another rule. Okay, these are not a identifier. Okay, it is a, not a name which we are giving user defined, right? Yes. Right. So we cannot use like the naming convention, which is there special meaning into it in the Python programming language itself. Okay. So we cannot okay. use as a name. So that is a nothing uh, clear understanding of the identifier in the product. So the uh, identifier concept is clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is the identifier. That summary of this discussion is whatever you are giving the name in the Python program. Let me be a class name. Let me be a function name. Okay. Let me be a variable name. That is nothing but an identifier. Don't mix up the things. Whatever the name you are giving in the Python program is nothing but an identifier. Okay. Okay. These are the things of the naming convention and what is the identifier we understood that. So I will just write it here. Name in Python program, which is nothing but identifier. Okay. This is clear, right? Just give me a second. Yeah. Okay, sorry for that. Okay, so we'll just start with the discussion. Right now, another thing is now we are going to discuss about the this itself, like reserve words. Okay, reserve word is nothing but which I told it like special meaning into the Python program is nothing but a reserve word. Okay, understood? Are you able to understand? Hello. 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 Yes, yes. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Got it. So, in general terms, if you want to represent some meaning, right, some functionality will be there. So, I will just show you some trick here to get the keyword. Okay. I will just open my Jupyter. Right. Okay. Okay, let's let's start. Yeah. Let's start with an example. So we'll just start. With user. I will just show you the quick keyword demo. Okay. This is something called as a library we have input key keyword. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if we write it as keyword dot aw right? You will get the list of the keywords here, okay, which are there in the Python. Right. Right. Okay, so these are the things which are there. So just uh, like if you, uh, what you can say, like if you just count it, 
you will get 32 to 33 i guess 32 to 33 it's a four, I guess. Maybe it has been kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, 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 uh, added three keywords like exactly right maybe yeah so if you just count it it is 35 keywords right are you able okay to, yeah so this is nothing but a like list of keywords that you can find it out okay got it this is got yeah so let's let's get started with the data type right so uh, like this is uh, about the keywords basically, right? So let's discuss about keywords first. So we can just start with the scissor word. So we just tell that there are 35 keywords, right? Which version it is? Which version of it? Maybe okay. three point eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In this version, this many keywords have been. Okay, might maybe it has been extended. Okay. So now uh, what 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 you will understand by the data type? What do you mean by the data type? In the general data type. No, no, in the data type. Yeah, in the general sense, not in the programmatic way, the general sense. Uh, type of data like uh, it, whether it is a number, uh, word, or symbol. Yes. Like that. Let's say, okay. So let's take a into a, another way. Let's suppose. You have taken some wheat, right? Wheat flour, right? So that has some weight into it. Okay. That weight, if you weigh it, which kind of a number it will be? Maybe a float thing kind of a number, right? Right. Like 10.24, 10.5, right? Right. Like numbers will be coming, right? So in the general sense, like what resides inside a variable? Okay, mm -hmm. that is nothing but a data type. Type of a data which is beside inside the variable, which is nothing but a data type. Type of a data, right? Right. Okay. So what contains into it is nothing but a data type. Okay. In the general sense, if I want to talk about it, is in the container, what it is there is nothing but a data type, right? What data inside is this? Let's suppose you have a folder into you have created a one folder, right? You have copied certain documents into it, right? So certain documents into it is nothing but a data type, right? They are built into a folder. It has number, certain size of that document, right? That number is nothing but a type, type of the data, right? How many number of bytes are there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is nothing but a type of data. It is it is it is able to contain, right? Uh, if you right. have terabytes of data, this kind of a data, right? This, they are certain numbers they are telling about it. That is nothing but a type of data. Now, if you, if you are going to talk about like inbuilt data types in Python itself, right? So as you know that it is int, float. These are the common things in every programming language. It is it is that, right? In flow and str. This is a common in every programming language. In flow and string. Right? Here comes right. the players. Have you heard about it complex? In the Python, complex is there, right? So complex is also is there. You might not heard about it anywhere, but it in the documentation it is there. Okay. So yes, I went. Oh. 
complex is where bool is you have heard about it i guess a uh, bool i heard yes yes there is something called as a byte okay byte okay another is byte array okay byte array and another is a ring data type let's tuple this you have heard about it that is uh, basically two things right so let's tuple yes. set set you have heard about it yes yes dictionary yeah frozen set have you heard about it no no right so this is set frozen set dict dictionary basically it is a dictionary and another one is a none none have you heard about it yes yeah so none is nothing but in the previous if, if, if you compare it in any programming language right so it is something called as a null value okay empty value okay so that is the meaning of the none okay we will we'll just discuss we'll just discuss or it can be a uh, like digit keeper it like that uh, when you don't have ha huh, i i am not able to put it that into words like it is something uh, like a value keeper or something no like uh, when you don't have the exact value but you want to uh, book a space for that particular value like that yes yes just give me a second just give me a second I will just we will just make a comparison. We cannot we will not go into the depth into it. Okay, we we'll just take okay. a comparison on on it. So you will understand what is the thesis about it. Okay, uh, let let me uh, take a whiteboard here. So you will understand what the. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, I can. Just give me a second. Okay. Hi, Babu. Yeah, sorry for that. So we'll just talk about a summary. Okay, summary of this data type. So we'll not go into depth into it. So like what we can just we can just make a note of it. Okay, this is a data type. Okay. Description like what it what it will be, right? And Have you heard about immut immutable immutable? Yes. Yeah. Uh, immutable are those like uh, those values can be changed once assigned. Yeah, immutable is changeable and immutable is not changeable. That is the thing. Yes. Is immutable. Immutable. Yeah. Is immutable. Uh, that you have to tell like this. Immutable, immutable. Like we'll take an example so that you will understand the process. Okay. So it will take a comparison, not rather than taking into individual. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you understand by uh, int float?
complex full let's say yeah string is not immutable no 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 just tell me okay uh, number okay okay uh integer is 7 Float is seven point four. No, no, I'm talking about the description, not a description. Is a kind of we can use to represent whole or integral values, right? We can represent whole and integral values. Yes. Yeah. So this is something like integer kind of value. Float is nothing but floating point values, right? Yes. Decimal or floating point. Decimal or floating. So we'll just make it as a description of all together, so you will understand what we are doing here. Okay. So we are representing the complex number. Complex number you have heard about it, right? A plus B, A plus. Yes, yes. Yeah. That I. So bool we represent the logical true and false. Something like that. Logical value. Logical value. So in the string str, what we'll be going to do is we'll represent a character, okay, or a string, either in the double quotes, either in the single quotes. This is nothing but a string. Okay, this is a description. If I want to talk about int, is it immutable or mutable int? Mutable. No. Immutable. Why? Because you cannot change it. Let's suppose, or uh, let's suppose you have reserved the memory space for one time, right? The same memory space will be not going to utilize next onwards. Okay. It okay. is going to create another memory. Okay. So that's why it is immutable. Let's just this is okay. This is it. And if you want to talk about it for the float and the complex. Everything is immutable. Okay. 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 This is an inbuilt. Why? Because yes, we will be not able to uh, change the memory location. The same like different memory location will be going to create it. So that's why I'm telling about it. Okay. Understood. So this is the main thing here. Okay. So let's take an example. This is a story. Store like this. This is an integer. If you want to store like this, this is a floating point values, right? So if you want to store complex number, how will you do that? I will just show you, right? Two, ten plus five, right? This is a convention. Yeah. Like this is a convention. Yeah. Yeah. This syntax it will be you have to do. So let's say in the bool type, if you tell that this should be a capital, so true, that will be the logical bool boolean value, right? Type if you yes. get, you get the like which type of key type. Is. So if you want to store in the string, you can either you can write in the single quote, whatever the characters that you want to write it. It should be enclosed with a single quote or a double quote, right? So this is a thing, okay, all together. So this is the thing about the string. So uh, what we discuss today is so so like we will be going to take it not one hour to one hour uh, by now. So we will take only forty minutes, okay? Because of the this uh, Zoom kind of a thing, right? So okay. okay. So what we have understood today is what is an identifier? Like how we can write the name convention? Second thing. We understood how many user words are there, and we understood like what is the comparison between each group complex in a square. This is a certain things they will might they might ask. Okay, they will not not might be asking in the depth like what does it this thing? They know that right? Right? Understood? Yes. This is things we have understood. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, in the next things, I will just show you like which what I have built it here. Basically, which you are 
talking about that opportunity right like uh, like that recruiter is taking me forward so yes so let let me arrange let me arrange this one Uh, new things I will just tell you like what uh, what is this about right. it was about like this ideology is about that project it was offline basically okay like it was a funnel right just like this function funnel was okay. here what they are doing is uh, they are putting into the cashews just cashews different kind of kind of the cashews basically okay idea is something like this okay different type of cashew is there there is a, some roller here okay or uh, some kind of a vibrator you may might be heard about it right vibrator maybe some electrical appliances basically yes yes yeah, they will be putting here right so that it will be going to float it here okay in this particular chamber so there is a roller something if you just see that there is a rubber kind of a thing right Continuously, it will be rolling. Okay, there is a, some motor is there here, some motor, so that it will it can take a movement from this to this, and here it will the cashew will be going to collect it. Okay, here like some chamber is there here. Okay, like there the industrial camera is fitted. Okay, industrial camera there. Uh, that will. Uh, Take a capture of that cashew basically. Okay, unique cashew. I don't understand. Like this different type of cashew will be going to processing, right? I don't understand. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. And type of cashew will be processing and rolling that, and it will be going to collect it some uh, vessel or something kind of that. Okay. So this is the overall ideology. So mainly it was running. Okay. Okay, it was. Mm -hmm. Was not a structured pipeline basically. Okay, if you have some uh, something like that is that is not a data sourcing where is data connected, that it was not there. Okay, what I did is see this is a data sourcing making a data transformation like and data pipeline, right? Data pipeline will be there, right? Yes, yes that maybe i'm not able to recall but these are the certain steps which will be going to adopt it right uh, what i did is uh, certain images is there right images was there images was collected so okay. i was taking into a one github repo okay so that whenever i'm training retraining the model right retraining the model so it will download from this resource, right? And it will analyze it with the, using this uh, model transformation and pipeline, okay? And okay. yeah, after that, we are using this API, okay? I was using one API, Flask API, right? Like I was using the Flask for hitting the API variable. Let's suppose Flask train, localhost Flask train to so this whole thing processing will be going to train whatever uh, we have certain images right so it will be going to train on that model so i have used basically i have tried with several things deep learning techniques also i have tried but that is uh, result was not satisfying okay okay so so that's why like uh, traditional ml itself svm i tried it out but at the last random forest uh, that that kind of a thing was performing well basically Some compared to another thing i compared every model but the comparable random forest was the best for this actually 
okay we were not storing anything but it was just uh, like uh, they they don't want to invest into the aws cloud and all so uh, this was a local project which i did it actually so i got everything your understanding about it like how 